most of the reactorials out there are teaching you a huge bad practice that will hurt your SEO as well as accessibility score. We have a simple application built using WIT and styled using Tilvin CSS with a simple header with a logo and some links. Then we have a main content and then we have a footer. This is our application. And let's try to see the code to find the bad practice. Here we start getting the glimpse of it. Okay. Hmm. A div with a header component, then a content component and a footer com component. Let's try to see each component. Okay. So let's go inside a header. Hmm. We are returning a div with a logo, which holds another div with our links. Okay, let's try to see a footer. Hmm, we're returning a div from a footer. Okay, let's try to see a main content. We're returning a div with two separate divs, which holds a content one and a content two. Hmm, and this is the bad practice that I'm talking about. Returning div. If you just want to create a component, put everything you want to put inside it and just return a div. And this is a huge bad practice. The thing you have to understand is div doesn't hold any meaning. It's just a simple box with no label. You can put anything inside it. It's just a block. And most of these React tutorials, they focus on teaching you React and they don't focus on the HTML part of it. And these small things start to become habits and bad habits takes time to break. So let's try to break this one. So instead of just returning divs and divs and divs, what we should focus on is writing semantic HTML. Now, if we just go and try to see the HTML code of our web page, then we see this is our root div. And then there's a div inside it. Then there's another div, which is a header, which holds another div, which is our links. Then this div is a main content, which holds content number one, this is content number two. And there are so many divs and divs and divs. And this is really hard to read for a developer. So we should start writing semantic html instead of just returning divs and divs and divs so this is a header and as a header we should not return a div instead we should return a semantic html which is header now this is not just another div this is a header this has a meaning this is a header of our web page this is the main thing and now if we go and see this div which holds links hmm this is navigation these are all the navigation links of a website so this is not just any other div this has a meaning this is a nav this holds navigation links of a website now if we go in a footer and this is a footer and not any other div this holds a meaning this is a footer so we should use a footer semantic tag now if we go in our content then there is a div which holds two divs which holds two different content and these two different things are not just any other divs these are two different sections so we should use a section semantic tag should use a section tag we should also do the same thing with the second one and now if we just go and see a code this is much more readable we have a header then we have a footer and here in the middle we have a main content which holds two sections and now if we go to see then this div is actually a main content and we are just saying it's a div it doesn't hold any meaning it's a main content so we should use a main tag which tells that this is a main content of this web page okay and now if you go to see 
hmm this is even more readable we have a header with a logo and then there's a navigation bar with a links which takes us to different parts of our web applications hmm then here is a main content with two main sections then here's a footer and now suddenly this becomes really really readable for a developer as well as when it comes to accessibility it will help screen readers to tell this is a header so this you should focus this is a header this is a navigation bar this is your main content this is your footer and this is really good for accessibility which most of the people just doesn't give much focus on but we should also focus on accessibility okay so but there's another problem if we just try to minimize this stuff then you will see that we have a main div which with a root id and then there's a div which holds a header a main and a footer but we can do without this div right we don't need this div so let's just remove it when it's actually in an app let's just remove this div because we don't need this div right but oh we're getting an error what is this error this error says jsx expression must have one parent element but now we have three elements now we are returning three element instead of one div elements but we don't want that div what should we do we just don't want to wrap it inside a div because it's just a pain to have another div which doesn't serve any purpose but we still want to return a single element what should we do what should we do and react has thought about it and it has a solution which is known as react fragments which is written this way okay and now we are returning one single element from this jsx component but when we go and see a html code that extra div is gone it's not there and this is a mistake that most of the tutorials they just ignore they just try to teach you the react part and just tell you just return a div nothing happens just return a div but the small things which you learn becomes habit and bad habits are really hard to break so from next time onwards whenever you are writing a react code or next js project make sure you start writing semantic html and not just return div from every single component and whenever you just want to wrap some uh, some elements which we did in case of a app in case of a app you just want to send three elements but you just don't want an other div then just use react fragments react has thought about this and created a solution just use it don't just use div and div and div so if you like the video then share it with your friends and tell them don't follow this bread practice break this bread practice and if you really like this video then make sure you subscribe for more such informative content